Hey Tom, how you doing? I'm all right, mate. How are you? Yeah, not too bad, thank you. The sun's finally come out in London. It wasn't an hour or so ago. It was very, very grey. Oh, no. <laughs> you're not in. Everyone else was in London yesterday. I take it you're not. No, I'm in Spain. I'm shooting a TV wow. show here. So yeah, um, yeah. I've, I've, it's my day. I listen, you know, it's my day off, and it's a beautiful day, and I'm inside doing it. Really <laughs> yes. grateful. Still working on your day off. <laughs> Uh, dear. Well, thank you for your time. Anyway, I appreciate yeah, your. Uh, you're welcome. Your, you're welcome. <laughs> your time. Uh, congratulations on the show. Thanks, man. Cheers. Uh, I watched episode one yesterday morning before I spoke to your lovely co-stars, and uh, really enjoyed it. And I, I, I don't like. I'm not a fan of blitzing things, so I'm take. I like taking my time. So I'll go back hey, to right. episode two, uh, very soon. But uh, lots. There's a lot to discuss in episode one, particularly with with you. This is uh, this is quite a role. This is quite a, a thing to get your teeth into. What was what was the initial attraction for you for the for the for the part, and also for the for the show in general? Well, the show in general, I just loved the scripts. I thought um, they were just brilliant. Anya Rice, the, uh, the the showrunner, you know, she's like, uh, I think she was like 27, 28, when, or maybe even younger when she first started writing this. Um, I know that she was 29 when we were showrunning it, you know, like when she was showrunning it. I mean, and she's from Brixton, she's from South London. She's, she's, she's edge, you know, she's got an edge to her. Mm. Um, and it was just thrilling to be, on a period show that's told through the gaze of someone like um, Anya. Um, and it feels punky, you know, it doesn't feel like a kind of bog standard um, period drama. Mm. Uh, it's definitely got a kind of edge to it. And so I read the scripts and I was just, I just absolutely loved them. Um, uh, I thought they were so funny, they were so robust. It's, so intense and um every character is really fully formed and complex um which is rare you know um and in terms of thomas he is easily the most complex character i've, I've ever played um you know he's he's passionate he's a hothead he's kind of charismatic and mm. really and fun to be around but he's also um morally really suspect and um and makes choices that are really hard to kind of like understand and come to terms with. Um, and so it was really, really challenging, <laughs> but very fun to kind of get inside the mind of someone like that. Um, it wasn't always, uh, it always, wasn't always enjoyable, but um, but I enjoyed the work. Yeah, uh, you mentioned there about it, it kind of being different for you in some respects and testing you. Did, did you find this was a, a more challenging thing that you've done before, given that he's got, a lot of complexity and a lot of layers and a lot of things that over the course yeah, of the season you kind of find out about him yeah i mean every every character has its challenges you know of course, of course. but i think that what i found most challenging about him was some of the actions that he takes and the things that i have to play later on in the show were hard um and it was uh you know i when you're playing someone like him uh, who makes choices that I would not make, you know, or, or I, I would certainly uh, um, be vehemently against, you could say, yeah. um, <laughs> to get inside the psyche of that person and make them the hero and defend them and not judge them um, is really difficult. And I hope that I've done an okay job at it, you know, um, of not pulling back, you know, really kind of like committing to uh, him as a person, um, despite the abhorrent things that he does at times. Yeah, absolutely. I spoke to Jamie and Jessica and Alicia yesterday, all, yeah. all lovely, lovely people. And they all spoke about the the kind of immersion is probably the wrong word, but stepping in, almost stepping back in time when you're stepping onto the set, because you guys are yeah. in these in these castles and in these places and they were speaking you know the, the candles would go in and you know you didn't have your mobile phones or that kind of stuff is that is that a kind of a good thing in the sense that you're kind of able to immerse yourself in that in that world completely for however long you were there for it's absolutely amazing and i'm not sure whether they spoke about this but this is something that was really exciting for me is that um you know often on a period drama uh, you've got your lights and the kind of coverage and the setups are quite normal. You know, you kind of do your over the shoulder, you do your two, two shot, you do your wide, 
and it's all lit, you know. But um, Adolfo Veloso, this young D DP, Brazilian, and the, the director, Justin Chadwick, I think they really took the script, which, as I said, was kind of like punky, and they mm. were like, right, let's that's, that's, that's embrace this. That's, it's not your traditional... Can, um, uh, period drama it's it's got an it's got an edge to it and so the sets they built have ceilings on them normally you would have a ceiling so you can light from above they shot everything by candlelight everything light through the windows and there would be times when justin the director would be like okay let's run the lines we'd do that then he'd be like okay let's just shoot it with no rehearsals you know we would just go Dolphin would have the camera on his shoulder and he'd just kind of like roam around and find moments. So you never knew when you were going to be on camera. And honestly, it's like you, me, like Tom just disappears completely because you have to be in this world. And the only thing that's there is a cameraman and a sound operator and that's it, you know? And it's, um, it's, it's so fun to be a part of. And I think that that energy really comes out in the show and it looks completely yeah. different than any period drama I've, I've ever been involved in. Yeah, it certainly does. I mean, you touched on what we just touched upon, the, the amazing ensemble. I mean, these, these shows tend to get such amazing ensembles, whether it's seasoned actors, people from the theatre, from people, young upcoming people. There's a really good mix in this show, obviously led by Alicia, who we've seen a, a couple of times. Was it... How rewarding is it for you as an actor when you get to work with people like that, that have all come from different backgrounds and you all come together to, to tell this tell this story? It's so great. I mean, like there are so many actors in the show that I um, have been massive fans of and really would love to have worked with. And, um, you know, some really celebrated theatre actors, for example, and mm. I've never done a play. I would be terrified to get on the stage, <laughs> but I have so much like awe and respect for these actors. So then to have the, the kind of like honor to work with them is just like, oh, it's just thrilling. I feel so, so, so lucky. Um, and the cast is just so good um, in the show, I think. Um, yeah, um, it was awesome to watch them work. <laughs> yeah, I feel really lucky and to just kind of like be in my small part in it, you know? Yeah. And I mean, there's a lot of, there's so much content out there now. It's almost like in my job, impossible to, to keep up. And uh, for you guys, obviously it's, it's good in terms of, there's lots of, seems to be a lot of work going around and all that kind of stuff, which is, I guess is kind of good. Uh, but what would you say to people who maybe come across this one and want to give it a go? What would you say to them that maybe they, why they, why they should give it a go in amongst the plethora of stuff that's out there? Yeah, totally. Uh, like there's so much choice. I think that, if you like period dramas, I think, you know, you'll love it um, because it's it's a really good period drama. And I, I mean that, you know, like, I'm not, I'm not just doing some kind of like sales pitch. I, I really am genuinely very, very proud of it. Um, but I think even if you're not interested in period dramas, this show is really, really engaging. It's um, It's got so much energy and it's so mm. alive. It's so contemporary, it's scary. Um, uh, and it deals with complex modern themes in a way that is so nuanced. Um, mm. And I think that it's gonna, I hope that it's going to create a lot of conversation, um, especially conversation for women um, and women who are fighting to figure out their place in a very male dominated world. Um, and that is Elizabeth's experience, you know, and I think that it's telling that Anya, who, as I said, was 28 when she was writing it, she's, she's a writer, theatre writer in a very male dominated world. Mm. She had her first play on when she was 18 at the Royal Court. And you can kind of feel so much of Anya in Elizabeth. Um, and I think that, I think that people will watch it and see a lot of themselves in it. And also it's just fun. It's yes. really fun to watch. Yeah, yeah. So it's as as complex and as rewarding as the characters in it, I think, which is which is yeah, always yeah. Uh, which is always good. Uh, Tom, thank you so much for your time. Absolute pleasure You're talking to you. Succession, the Tudor Succession. Yeah. <laughs> hey, that's not a bad elevator pitch. To be fair, no, yeah, not a bad one at all. <laughs> uh, thank you so much for your time, mate. Appreciate it. Thank yeah, you so much. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching. Hey, you guys. Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys, Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Yeah.